Hey, what's up guys? Trust me remaining here. And uh, about a year ago, I made a really, really poor video, like extremely poor. And I, I think it's finally time. Sorry, if you hear my dog, he's moving around me as we speak. Linus, that's his name. He's still a puppy. <laughs> he's awesome. He really is. He's like a frog. He has a frog tongue. But anyway, that's off topic. But anyway, so I'm, I have to, you know, redeem myself. Now he's scratching himself. Hey. Stop it. So I'll have to redeem myself on such a terrible video. I will, I, I think I should take it. I think I'm, I will take it down. It is really bad. I'm not even going to link it. Like, it's so bad. So I really have to make up for that. Um, so I'm going to show you guys if you have problems with, like, how to uh, realize if your CPU is bottlenecking your GPU. Uh, it doesn't really go the other way. Your GPU is not going to bottleneck your CPU. It's, it's only the CPU. So, I'm going to show you guys a couple easy ways um, on how to figure it out. Because it's not very easy to detect. Because um, you might think at first that it's just your graphics card. So, uh, I'm going to have this website in the description. Can you run it right here? And it is basically a website. A majority of people are familiar with it. And it is a website that you can uh, check all your, uh, if you can run games. So basically, you don't just go out and buy a game if you can't run it. So then it just sits on your computer installed and you can't run it. Now my dog is licking me. <laughs> okay. So anyway, so uh, first I would choose like, my, my opinion would be to choose like Battlefield games because they're graphically intensive, but not like Crisis. Like they're, they're up there, but not like super up there. And uh, like Battlefield 4, I also like Battlefield 4 or Hardline. And I was chewing my headphones. But anyway, kind of do the video. Uh, so, oh no, not that. I don't want this. So I'm going to choose like Metal Gear Solid. Nope. I want to see the details. There we go. So I'm going to get to see the details. Uh, please don't play that. So basically what you're going to be able to see is um, your video card and everything you have once you go through their setup. So, obviously, I my CPU, I have an, uh, that is wrong, oh, uh, yeah, I have an i7, and I have an i7, and it's not going to be bottleneck in my uh, GTX 560, because it's, my GTX 560 is pretty old, but it still does its job, so I'm not going to complain about that. This is for minimum, or you can try recommended, but usually for recommended, they'll have both of them red, unless you have, like, a beastly PC, but uh, if your CPU is red and your video card's green, that is a big flag right there that your GPU is being bottlenecked by your CPU. Second way is, uh, another way to be able to find out really easy is to uh, pretty much compare the price, how much you spent on the CPU compared to the GPU. Uh, I would say usually if you're $100 off your GPU, so you spend $100 more on your GPU than your CPU, you, you are pretty much, there's no bottleneck there in my opinion. That should not happen. Um, so, but if you spend like, you buy yourself a GTX Titan and then, or 980, and then you spend like $150 on your CPU, that's going to be bottlenecking right there. That's going to happen. You have to get yourself an, the newest i7, which is like, you know, you have to spend like over $200 on a CPU. I would recommend pretty much the Intel CPU since they have like the multi-thread and then it's like, te technically it's like eight CPUs, I mean, processors, but only four actually but that's my opinion uh, uh, another way would be to pretty much search on YouTube because um, a lot of people do like if you have your graphics card everyone has like you know you got to know your graphics card so you go on YouTube and you search like I would search uh, GTX 560 I would do it but I could get copyrighted for that I hope I don't get copyrighted for this this would be terrible so you search uh, your graphics card and there's always gonna be people for that game that will review the graphics card with, you know, a, a really beastly CPU, which should not even come close to bottlenecking. So then you should know that your FPS compared to their FPS, which would be an obvious reason why, you know, it's not, if it's getting bottleneck, you're not getting the same FPS as that person. So anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. I hope I completely redeem myself for that video. That was just terrible. I got to take that video down. It's awful. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching as always. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a nice day.